The fact that the climate has been unstable didn't even used to be controversial. Uh, Robert Ardrey's book, The Territorial Imperative, which was controversial because it portrayed humans as just another animal and an unusually aggressive one, said that there are times when climate seems to be stable, like the Pliocene, but, he says, quote, there have also been epochs of an opposite nature. Such has been the Pleistocene in which we yet live, when climates changed and changed again, and the great cold would come to consume a continent, or rains would change desert to forest, and then drought would return it to sand. So just how much instability is there? Well, according to the authors of The Neglected Sun, researchers studying an Antarctic ice core covering the past 12,000 years identified a total of 46 strong natural warming events throughout the pre-industrial era. The mean warming rate of these events was approximately 1.2 degrees centigrade per century, more than the 0.7 degree warming we have seen since 1900. And real scientists acknowledge and debate these kinds of uncertainties. Scientists are often misjudged. Uh, um, our work is not just about facts, it's about the unknown. That's, that's where we are busy. We are we're doing science because of the things we don't know. And, and, that, and that's where we live and that's where we work. And so not understanding things is, is what we concern ourselves with most of the time. It's also worth noting, as we consider this cycle of warming and cooling, that the cyclical rhythm tends to be trending downwards. You know, this is, this is somewhat disturbing, and of course, there are fluctuations on top of fluctuations. And if you look at this chart, assuming the reconstructions are correct, the cold periods are getting colder, they're not getting warmer. The Little Ice Age was colder than the Dark Ages. And the warm periods also seem to be trending more loosely downwards. Now, in fact, this line is more than a little bit odd. If Earth is warming and has been for 12,000 years, it stands to reason that the general trend of these cycles would be upwards, even absent any human influence, you know, unless they change suddenly, because again, the pattern is one of these hauntingly regular irregularities that can go really irregular without warning, including the possibility that the Holocene has run its course or is close to running it and that we are headed into another glaciation. The recent round of ice ages started about a million years ago where we had roughly every 100,000 years, big ice age, big melt, big ice age, big melt. And by the way, we're towards the end of the last big melt and based on a lot of theories of ice ages, we should be sliding into the next ice age with the warmest period being this thing called the Holocene Optimum about 8,000 years ago. And it reminded me of an old Twilight Zone episode called The Midnight Sun, in which a cosmic catastrophe, a collision with an interplanetary object has sent the Earth spiraling toward the sun and the temperature keeps rising, civilization is broken down, the water is evaporating, sanitation is non-existent, humans are succumbing to disease, fever, and despair. And it focuses on the story of two women, one of whom is very ill and the other of whom is caring for her. And then right at the end, the fever breaks. She wakes up and discovers that what has actually happened is that the Earth has collided with an interplanetary body and it is spiraling away from the sun and that everything is frozen. You know, I don't know, and neither does the IPCC or anybody else. I wish we did, but it's another complex, chaotic system that has nothing to do with man-made CO2, and in fact, nothing to do with natural CO2. There's one more thing about this chart worth noting. If you look down in the corner, you see that the authors are pointing to the sun as a causal factor. They say, whenever solar radiation has decreased and volcanic activity has increased, global temperatures suddenly plummet, often within weeks or months. And, you know, that weeks or months, I talk about climate alarmists, well, I'm alarmed by that, the possibility that something fairly sudden could happen, especially if we go into a drastic solar minimum. 